this is a very, very, very special time for St. Joseph and a very, very special time for me as Member of Parliament. And Chairman Stevon, you, you say that you couldn't want to have something like this being commissioned at a better time than Christmas. But um, it's more significant than just being at Christmas. In 2016, Senator Harris remembers well, at Christmas, hardly anybody in the surrounding areas had water. Nobody in Lamings had water. Nobody in Sugar Hill had water. Nobody in Chimborez or Bradbury. I don't know how many ways to say nobody. And these things don't seem like major impediments when you live outside and you have running water every day. But can you imagine the Christmas season approaching and you can't make your usual preparation. You can't wash. And Christmas Day of 2016 was a day that brought tears to most of my constituents' eyes because they couldn't stay home. Nobody can prepare Christmas feasts out of buckets of water. It was a severe, severe hardship. So I am so proud that at any other time of the year, and we could probably have done this a few weeks ago, Stefan, uh, and I don't know that it was planned for this reason, but that a mere six years later, we can gather in this area to commission this facility on the eve of Christmas. I think it is something that we have to be very, very thankful for. In my short time on earth, I'm following public affairs. I don't know of any other official them being associated with the opening of a reservoir. It may be that the Water Authority hasn't built any. It may be that the two that were built recently um, in St. John um, <laughs> weren't as important as this one. Uh, but this is a magnificent edifice, not just because of what it is, but because of what it represents to the people of my constituency. Um, while it will please the people in St. Joseph and the surrounding districts, will also um, perhaps agitate those in the north of the island who feel equally passionate about the fact that many of them have to deal with either no water from time to time, or the issues of brown water running through their taps, um, or in some cases, and I recall uh, when Parl Seca and I first became um, responsible for this ministry, we visited the northern parishes and people welcomed us into their homes to see what they were encountering. And one of the things that really struck me was um, there was one lady who indicated to us that she couldn't even wash her white clothes if she went to church on a Sunday. The, the, the notion of being able to wash her white clothing was near impossible because of the brown water that was coming through the taps. So I just give that as an example because the truth is that people don't really understand and appreciate unless you have experienced these types of things, how significant it is to have access to water. Um, and we still have a long way to go while we've done this particular project um, and while we're obviously addressing the issues with Rising Sun and all of the other pumping stations across the country, the truth is that we have started that process and there is still a significant amount of work to be done. Now, it is not um, by chance that we are here this afternoon. I think the, the truth of the matter is that this has been as a result of a lot of hard work um, from the private sector, from the Barbados Water Authority as well, and from all of the people who've been involved in not only raising the alarm, but also working on this particular project. And I would just want to take the opportunity to thank Preconco, who've been working on the project, who's been also helping us in other areas as well, to deliver on the promises that we've made to the people who've been affected. Um, and to, to thank them for, in a sense, being able to bring not just um, their expertise, but also their um, understanding of the importance of this type of project in bringing water relief to the people in the, around this, these particular districts. Um, I think we can safely say we've not had the cost overruns that have been ex exhibited in other areas. Um, we've been able to deliver the project on time, um, which I think is to their credit and certainly to the credit of the 
Barbados Water Authority, and I hope that that can continue in terms of our delivery of the various um, projects that are under the Barbados Water Authority at this point in time to deliver relief to the rest of the island.